432 and back to the breaking news this morning unfolding right now in Westchester County where state police say a woman and two young victims were shot at an apartment complex in Somers last night and we just learned one of the victims has now died. Police now hunting for the gunman and eyewitness news reporter Phil Tate live outside the Westchester Medical Center with what we know about this manhunt underway right now. Phil. You know, Mike, this just came in moments ago from police of those three people, a woman and those two young victims that one of them are now dead. We have been reporting all morning long that two of those people have been receiving medical attention here at the Westchester Medical Center. Now, as for the manhunt that is now underway, police have now released that photo of this 40 year old suspect, Fernando Jimenez, who is now on your screen. Now, New York's uh, state police say this this 40 year old is who they're trying to track down, who they say was last seen in Putnam Valley and is familiar with the victims. Now, police say they to do not make any contact with this suspect as he's believed to be armed. Now, while it's still unclear what led up to the shooting incident, video on your screen is from outside of where all of this went down inside of a Somers home behind the Crossroads Plaza on Route 6. Now, that's where gunfire had exploded around 1130 last night, leaving one victim dead now and those two other victims who are being treated. Now we're still awaiting to learn more on the conditions of those two surviving victims. New York State Police are now leading an active investigation to track down this suspect. Again, if you do see this person or have any information, do not approach this man who has been identified as Fernando Jimenez as he may be armed. Finally, they're saying that he was last seen wearing a black sweatpants and a gray sweatshirt at the time of the incident. We are live outside of the Westchester Medical Center this morning. I'm Phil Tate, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.